lot of MBA students are still young people, not very mature. A lot of them have not even experienced life till now, practical life I should say. So a lot of competition is there amongst themselves, peer competition. At times, one is so much into the peer competition that one loses track of oneself. I think it's important to understand oneself. What to understand? Your own aptitude. What are your major abilities? Your personality. Again, each person is different. Some might be social, some might not be. Some might be very creative, some might not be, and so on. So personality. What kind of interests do you have? What kind of uh, values do you have? Do you want a lot of money? Do you want power? Do you want glamour? What is it that you want? I still remember I had a batchmate called Vishal when I was doing my management from FMS Delhi, Faculty of Management Studies. Vishal was very clear he wanted a lot of money. And today he is sitting in US running his own company with a turnover of approximately 400 crores and he does not belong to any business family. He managed it by himself. So that is how he was. I as a person I was more on the social side so I am sitting here and doing counselling. And there were people in my batch who wanted a lot of respect, Bipin Menon who become an ITS officer, he is Deputy Director General of Foreign Trade. So they are all MBAs but all working in different environments. There is a guy, he became an exporter, he wanted to do something internationally. So we need to understand ourselves, then only we can choose. So a lot of times uh, peer pressure does not let us think individually. We think like Bakris, we keep on following other people in terms of careers, in terms of the way we approach MBA also. An MBA degree should be taken up individually. You might be very bright in marketing. So you spend more time in marketing. Next year when you are choosing your specialization, choose marketing. Go in for summer training in marketing. Instead of trying to follow finance because everyone else is thinking finance is hot. Yeah. And similarly, HR, systems. So your choices also should not be led by peer pressure. Similarly, choice of jobs. It is not necessary that a first day company or a zero day company will give you the best careers and a third day, four day company will not. It depends purely on you. Maybe you want to join an ad agency which is coming on the third day because it doesn't pay as much. Same way about money also. You might be a person who is very happy doing creative work. So you might join the area of fashion management, work with a big company like Arvind Mills rather than working with a consultancy and doing data crunching though the consultancy might be giving you better money. So, peer pressure keeps on influencing us, but what we need to do is keep on understanding ourselves and keep on taking decisions based on how we are as an individual. For that, you need to be really be strong from inside. You also really need to connect with two, three people who understand you well, who can keep on guiding you. Maybe a mentor can help you in this direction. Some institutes have a have a standardized mentoring process where a senior faculty member, somebody from the industry, or typically an alumni, is helping youngsters choose appropriate careers. In certain cases, mentoring is not there, so you can identify your own mentors. Mentorship will help you in fighting peer pressure. And yes, competition is also there because of peers. Uh, like, suppose I am having group decision interviews. Now, I am competing with my own friends. And, uh, but that's how life is, that's how we'll, we, we need to come up and we need to do our bit and see whether we are better or they are better. And some of us will get selected, some others will get selected for some other companies. A point to remember, at times one will need to calm down oneself. It does happen at certain institutes, the placement process is happening for two months. So 30% people have got recruitment in the first 15 days. Now, rest of the persons and these persons, there are two lobbies which are made. So, in these situations, again, we need to be calm and to keep on telling ourselves that we will also get placements. It's just a matter of time. Eventually, everyone gets a job. 